No, don't go work out. I'm a little bit tired today. I am a little bit tired. And uh, it's taking me a minute to get moving and grooving here. Well, that didn't go as planned uh, at all. <laughs> Well, good morning. Good to see you again. Welcome back. We've got a push day ahead of us today. That's right. We are kicking off this powerlifting week with obviously squats and leg day yesterday. And today we're doing a little bit of benching, some shoulder work, tricep work, a really good push day. It's going to be an interesting one. We haven't done rep ranges like this in a while. We're going to be benching for a percentage of our one rep max today, just like we did yesterday with the squat. But it's gonna be for you know weight that seems probably too low. Probably too low. And like we discussed yesterday, that's okay. It's so, so, so tempting to try to increase that weight, to try to kick it up, lift more, because we think we can do more, we know we can do more, but we gotta trust that process. Work with the weight that is prescribed at this point for that progression that we're gonna have here in the coming weeks and just stick with it and know that the results will come. They definitely will. So as you can see from today's workout, we're gonna be starting right out with that barbell bench. And then we're gonna be moving on to some slightly heavier dumbbell benching before we move on to some shoulder pressing. The dumbbell benching, you know, and, and the shoulder pressing, those are both things we've done numerous times in here. It's been a little while though, since I've used the lever arms for some shoulder pressing. And I really like using the lever arms for shoulder pressing. I think of all the exercises we do on those, it's most likely the closest to what a machine in the gym, a commercial gym actually feels like with regards to targeting that specific muscle group. For all the other ones, they're, they're on a bit of a plane, you know, it's kind of hard, you got them sleeping out of it. It's, it, it's not perfect, right? It's all imperfect. And the shoulder press is certainly no exception, but with the way we're able to seat ourselves and get under those handles, under those levers, we really do get a very, very nice overall range of motion, overall form, and overall path of travel for our hands and for those lever arms. It's a really, really easy thing to set up and it just makes the world of difference when you're able to quickly throw something up like that and get a ton of work volume out of it. Whereas you might have to you know, use the barbell or other things that are gonna require a bit more stability and not allow you to really just push, push, push until you hit that wall and hit total failure. So we'll work our way through that and then eventually we're gonna hit a, a moment where we're gonna be doing those spider crawls and you're probably asking yourself, what the heck are spider crawls? It's a very simple banded exercise that I learned a number of years ago and it is quite the shoulder finisher. It is just one of those things that if you've done your job, if you've done the work, if you've really nailed your shoulder exercises for the day, these will absolutely destroy them and take them all the way to failure. They're very simple. They don't require a ton of resistance. In fact, we'll be using some of the bands behind us, obviously, and you might be surprised at how low of a band resistance you might need to go by the time you get to these in your workout. But they're a great little finisher for your shoulders. So we'll hit that, and then at the end there, we're gonna do some focused tricep work as well with some push downs and then some single arm kickbacks as well. So we got a pretty good workout ahead of us. I'm excited. I'm a little bit tired today. I'm not really sure why, but I am a little bit tired. And uh, you know, it's taking me a minute to get moving and grooving here, but we're gonna get set up here for some benching. We're gonna get warmed up and we're gonna be starting our bench here. We're using 55% of our one rep max. So that only means we're gonna be hitting 200 pounds on that bench today. That's okay. We're gonna do the same thing we did yesterday with the squats though. We're gonna be doing dynamic benches where we're gonna be hitting the bench for three reps and then taking a 30 second rest and then doing again, rinse and repeat for nine total times. And that's gonna be the working sets for that bench today. So let's get over there, let's get warmed up, let's get set up and let's get after this. I'll see you there. All right, we're all set up here, all warmed up. 200 pounds on the bar, safety straps up. Everything's feeling pretty good. My left forearm is tight though. So strange. I'm not sure if I slept on my like, my wrist weird and had my hand cocked or something like that, but my, my left forearm is just really, sore's not the right word. I, I think tight is, uh, is what, where we're at, but stretching that's not really doing much. It just feels fatigued. 
It's super odd, super odd. I haven't felt that before. We'll just keep an eye on it. We'll see what we need to do. So we're gonna be doing these, obviously nine sets here, 30 seconds in between each one. And we're gonna break up those nine sets into three subsections where we're gonna be doing a narrow, a medium or a normal grip width and then a wide grip width. You can use these ring indicators here on the barbell, as long as you're using an Olympic barbell. They have these uh, ring indicators that'll help you place your hand. We're gonna be using that as our benchmark, um, where you know I like to have, for, for a narrow grip, my thumb uh, extended and basically touching the edge of the knurling and the smooth part right there, that transition part. That's where, um, that's where we're gonna go for our narrow grip, where the tip of that thumb is right on that, that transition mark. Then we're gonna go to a more traditional or normal width. Still actually a little bit narrow for what I, I typically do, uh, but we're gonna go pinky on the, the ring part there. That's just the easiest way to kind of keep track of where we want our hand to be. I personally like to have my ring finger on there. You may like the pinky more. Give them both a shot, tell me what you think. And then lastly, but not leastly, we're gonna go pointer finger on or right next to that ring part as well for some super wide grip uh, benches here at the end. So again, all nine sets for three reps each, 30 second breaks, let's do it. Oh, it just feels too easy, doesn't it? But it's not. Okay, set two. Third one, <clears throat> last narrow grip. Keep those elbows tucked in there. All right, now we're gonna switch to a more neutral grip with this, these next three sets. You're probably most gonna notice it coming from this camera over here. You'll be able to see kind of the distance my hands are, but also where my elbows are. That's what I want you paying attention to. Make sure we've got that proper grip width, but also elbow placement as well. On the narrow, the elbows are tucked. We're really in line. Overall, hands are staying in a nice line. With this neutral grip, or medium grip, whatever we want to call it, those elbows are going to be more about a 40, 45 degree angle out from the body. You'll see it here in this next shot. Okay, let's do it. Third set here. <sighs> yeah, okay. So now we're gonna transition over to that wide grip. We're gonna be making sure now that our forefinger, while previously we had our pinky or our ring finger on that ring, now we're gonna be using our pointer finger Gonna get on that ring and getting that extra couple inches of width in between our grip. Nope. <sighs> 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 I find that these wide grips are where it really starts to kick in. This is where we really start to feel it. <sighs> Set two for the wide grips. Eight overall. <clears throat> one more. Last one. Here we go. Very good. Okay, so hopefully, hopefully, by the time you finish this, that 55% number isn't something you're balking at anymore. I mean, you get a pretty darn good workout when you're doing this many sets, that's for darn sure. 200 pounds, 55% of our one rep max. That was good, that was nice and solid. The form felt great, everything felt pretty good overall. 
I'm still feeling kind of tired though. I'm still feeling kind of tired, unfortunately. Not sure what that's about, but you know, it is what it is sometimes. We're gonna get this cleaned up, put away, get everything out of the way, and then we're gonna come over here and get set up for some pretty heavy dumbbell, uh, slight incline dumbbell bench presses. I'll see you over there. Several long days later. Well, that didn't go as planned uh, at all. <laughs> wow, it's been a couple of days, like six almost. Uh, you know, basically finished that set of bench and just didn't didn't feel right at all. Felt just off, it's a, it's a weird feeling. But when you get to know your body, you know what's right, what feels wrong. It felt really off there. Something felt really off and my intuition was correct. By the end of the day there, I had rapidly deteriorated. Not even by the end of the day. You know, by like lunch, I had rapidly deteriorated. And uh, <clears throat> I was sick, and as you can hear, I'm still kind of recovering from it. But feeling well enough to come out here and do just something light. Something light. Uh, so we're just going to do arms. Because I'm hoping, I'm hoping that this all clears out by tomorrow, and we can actually get back into a normal swing of things and literally pick up where we left off. Probably start at the beginning again with the bench, but do that do that exact same workout. Uh, yeah, <laughs> got sick for six days. I got like a cold, and then was actually starting to feel better on um, on Thursday. Thought I'd be feeling alright for a workout on Friday, and come Friday morning, I was started started to feel a little bit better um, by by about like Wednesday evening. I was like kind of feeling alright a little bit, and then uh, yeah, Thursday morning, nothing. No, I was done done worse than I had been all of a sudden and uh wasn't great so I think I got like two things back to back basically <sighs> wasn't fun so here we are Took like every ounce of my being to not come out here, work out, do, do any kind of workout or, you know, go do cardio, something like that. I wanted to so badly. I was just, I was suffering from not uh, doing any kind of workout, but my body definitely needed that rest. That's for sure. Uh, we, I haven't been that sick in quite a long time. It was uh, not like I had like a fever or anything like that, thankfully. Gosh, I was so uncomfortable at first. And then just it deteriorated into this crazy, like, cardiovascular issue. I just felt like at times I couldn't catch my breath. Other times I just had, like, a crazy headache and just overall lethargy. So tired. We're back at it. So, Moko wants to get in on the workout too. Um, I don't know about that. I don't really have dumbbells for even big puppers like you. I don't. I'm sorry. But uh, we're going to come back out here, do a light arm workout. Not exactly sure what's gonna come after this. I know I'm gonna hit triceps, obviously, but I'm gonna do some bicep work, some tricep work, and I'm definitely gonna hit some abs. Let's see, I've lost four pounds since uh, first part of this video. <laughs> that's that's all well and great. You know, you sit around. And I wasn't really hungry, and I was I was just kind of eating when I needed to, uh, or when I felt like it, which wasn't very often, to be honest. And when I did eat, I wasn't really like I certainly wasn't tracking any macros. Um, I'm sorry, I'll track them next time. But uh, somehow managed to lose four pounds, which is not really the goal right now, but hey, we'll deal with it. What do you want? You have so much to say this morning. So much to say. Can I lift this last set here of this thing? Is that okay with you guys? Huh? Huh?
Phew. Well, my goodness, does it feel good to be back out here. My goodness. It feels good to be back out here. It's just a hard thing to explain. We've talked about this before, how important it is to get out here, have that exercise, have that routine, you know, have that time to center ourselves. It's just so crucial, so critical. And there's never a great time to not be able to have that, but in trying times, especially when you're going through tough stuff, personal stuff, work stuff, whatever it is, relationship stuff, it's, uh, it's no small task to not be able to come out here to do this thing to help center us a little bit. Man, we've said it before, but my goodness, it just feels so good and right to get back out here, to get back in the gym, doing our thing, just lifting some weights. No real plan, you know. Thankfully, with my wisdom, with my experience, I can kind of just throw something together, no problem. But gosh, it just it's perfect, perfect right now. It's comfortable in here. If anything, I'm getting a little warm, and we're just lifting some freaking weights. We're back at it, easing into it. You know, it's still <laughs> very congested up here in my head, but it's not, not unbearable. And, you know, when you're in the moment, when you're in the middle of a lift, of a set, it's not even noticeable. It's not even noticeable. It's fantastic. Squeeze. Oh. So good.
<sighs> I think it's one of the most common questions I see online, and there's a list of those, don't get me wrong. But it's often someone asking, I'm sick, or I'm still sick, or I'm getting sick, should I work out? And the answer should be no, don't go work out. Don't work out when you're sick for a number of reasons. One, you don't want to get the people around you sick. Let's be a little more conscious of that, okay? But two, and perhaps just as important, is your body needs that rest. It needs to recover. That's what my wife's been saying to me for the last, you know, five, six days. I know you want to work out. Your body needs to recover. And I know that. She knows that too, obviously. And so she's not telling me something I don't know. My want, almost need to go work out needs to pause for a minute so that my body can rest and recover. If we don't give our body that opportunity, we're just going to do more damage out here. We're going to get more sick. We're going to deprive our body of the resources it needs to get better and potentially just push ourselves too hard. That's what we're inclined to do, right? <laughs> it's probably why most of us do this is we like pushing ourselves to the limit sometimes. But when we're sick, don't go out there and work out. Don't even, don't try. You know, there's no need. But learn your body too. Know when it's ready for a small workout like this one, something to ease back into it. Today we're feeling pretty damn good, like really damn good. And I'm hoping it stays this way throughout the day. I can tell you it hasn't felt like this when I woke up in, uh, in quite some time and it's still six in the morning right now. So it feels great to be out here, but we had to take that time to rest and recover. Could I have done it a day earlier? I, <laughs> I don't think so. Did I want to? Absolutely, absolutely. But I'm glad we waited. <laughs> All right, so let's get this quick little thing uh, wrapped up here. A little bit of arm work, a little bit of ab work here we're gonna wrap up with. Make the most of it. It's, it's so nice to be back. Can't emphasize that enough. But we're not gonna overdo it. We're gonna keep it to those four things. We're gonna do three sets of abs here and uh, call it a day. So thanks for being here. It's good to be back. I know there wasn't a lapse for you, but there's a lapse for me. And man, that was tough. That was tough. So tomorrow, if everything goes well today, We'll be back to our regularly scheduled programming. We're going to go back and do that whole chest workout from the beginning. Start it straight over. But if we're not feeling great again tomorrow, or if we're not still feeling at least closer to 100%, we may do another modified small light workout of some kind. We'll see. Uh, but I don't, want to, I don't want to go too hard right out the gate if our body isn't capable of it. So we'll do that workout as planned tomorrow. Go from there. You have a lot to say, little boy. He's telling me I got to finish up here. We're gonna get this thing done and then we're gonna all go inside, okay? We'll see you guys next time. Okay, watch out.